Hi guys, welcome to Triple M Trading where we talk about stocks, business, and medical school. So in this video, we are going to talk about what happened in the markets today. So we experienced a really, really, really bad sell-off. Maraming stocks ang bigla ang bumaba. Although in the first few minutes of the markets, nagkakaroon ng mga breakouts. Uh, in fact, I was up really, really high during the first part of the markets. I'll show you later my uh, virtual portfolio and also actually my real portfolio where I have a picture. Uh, I have a snapshot of what happened this morning. But then, as we always say, shit happens. Kasi uh, grabe yung sell-off and it's already... It's also obvious in the PSEI that there was a really, really bad sell-off. So, aside from, uh, uh, amidst that set sell-off, Ace Energy, AC Energy Philippines has been high and is actually 2% up despite the massive sell-off of majority of the stocks in the Philippine Stock Exchange. Okay, so now let's proceed. Let's chart first what happened in the PSEI, okay? So let's proceed. So first, let's start the PSEI first. Okay. So let's see what happened. So as you can see, um, if you plot the support areas of this of uh, the of the PSEI, it would be this candle. Okay. Ito, ito, itong candle na to. Ay, itong, um, area na to. So this morning, nagkaroon ng uh, Dumaan siya in that price area, which is 7,094. So it opened at around 7,206 and it reached a low of 7,081 and it closed at around 7,202. Okay, so as long as this support area holds, I think okay pa tayo, pero very evident this morning na marami nagbentahan. Um, possibly due to that news na nangyari na. There is another COVID strain and possibly na investors are uh, wary or are fearful of what could happen in the next few months. If possible ba na magkaroon ng next um, phase ng ating COVID, the whole COVID, uh, whole COVID lockdown and all. Okay? So, yan. As long as it holds this, we are okay. Pero if it doesn't hold that area, then we should be careful, probably um, be conservative in our trades. So for me, uh, I already I already sold two of the stocks that I was holding because I hit the uh, trading stops, ko, which is Dito and MM. And we will um, also tackle that later. Okay, so yun ang condition ng ating market. So far, we are still good. However, nagkaroon ng scary uh, dip kanina. Pero as long as it holds that, we're okay. Okay? Pero we should be um, consi consistently monitoring our stocks because we never know what could happen. It could happen, this could happen again. So, and then you can see the volume of selling is really high as compared to the average volume of the recent um, days. Okay, so now let's proceed to Ace, to um, Ayala, Ayala Energy. Um, as you can see, nagkaroon din ng massive sell-off in the, in the morning. So, however, na reach niya yung kanyang high of, it opened at around 7.22. It reached a high of 7.60. So, but so far, good yung close niya kasi at around 2.66% up pa rin siya with a volume of 52.74 million. So, again, uh, there were more buyers than sellers. However, it was really scary yung this morning. Let's check yung 3-minute chart. Let's remove this Bollinger Band kasi medyo distracting siya. Ayan. Makikita nyo at around at around 9.30 to 9.36 it reached uh, a high of 7.60. Probably a lot of people sold in that area already. Then tuloy-tuloy na siyang bumaba. Then nag-dip siya at around 10.39. It reached at least around 6.86 low. So maganda sana na if you were able to catch this low, especially itong confirmation candle na to. Okay. And also ito, possibly yan. So as you can see, yung lower low, a uh, higher higher low na siya dito. So possibly buy point yan kung gusto mo mag entry for your ACE energy trade. And also, this can be a possible entry. Okay? So, 
so far, um, ito yung possible entries kung nagbenta ka during this area or kung hindi mo pa hawak yung Ace Energy at gusto mong humabol for the SRO. So, around 5% up ka pa rin if you bought at these areas or possibly kung nag-buy mo on the dip, which is possible, pero hindi naman natin maka-assure. So, around 5% or if medyo late ka, around 2%. So, yun lang naman yung nangyari. Okay? So, uh, so far, okay rin ako sa kanya. That's why I didn't thought loss yung Ace Energy ko kasi... Uh, originally, maaga, maaga kasi yung entry ko here. So, ang plan ko here was, okay, I, I drew a Darvas box, tapos nagka-breakout of the Darvas box, and then I bought during this day, itong um, candle na to, December 21, and I'm still holding kasi it's at an all-time high of 7.34. So, still a hold, pero if it breaks down around 7.16, I might be selling. Kasi yun yung trailing stops ko. Okay? So, dahil nag-close siya at 7.34, I'm still considering to hold it. Especially that I want to participate in the SRO. Okay? Kasi if you buy on the SRO, if I'm not mistaken, it's around 2 pesos. And it's per stock that you have, per stock that you have, you can buy around 1.11, I think. Um, just confirm that in the news that they have. Okay? So, and stock rights offering. Let's check yung stock rights offering for Ace Energy. So, and makikita mo, 2.37 per share ang makukuha mo if you have a stock ng, um, if you have this stock, de, until uh, record date of November, of January 20, January 13, 2021. You can buy um, these shares at 2.37 per share. Okay? So, ayan. Ito yung important dates to remember. So, you, you screenshot this na. Or you can check your investigrams. So, again, offer price 2.37 pesos per share. Number of shares to be offered around 2 billion. And also, um, X rights offering date would be January 8th. And record date would be January 30. So, I wanted, I want to participate here. That's why I bought shares. Kasi, very cheap na yung 2.37. Okay? So, let's move on to other stocks. Punta tayo sa dito. So, sa dito, I, I sold dito kasi the main reason why I sold dito was because of this volume of selling. So, as compared to the recent days, um, mas increased na yung selling niya and red siya na nag-close. Aside from that, although it it held yung area na to, pero I, I, I sold just to be safe. And I took profits because I was happy naman now with the gains. But if you're not, you can still hold this for another day. But ako, ito talaga yung main consideration ko, itong volume na to. Okay? So, yung volume na yan, as compared to a, to Asen, uh, di ba? Although, malaki yung wicks niya for the day, pero nagkaroon pa rin ng big buying, pero as compared to dito, ang laki ng selling niya during this day. Which is, kung, kung i-consider mo in the past few days, laki ng selling for the past few days nagkakaroon ng pullback then nagkakaroon ulit ng buying at the support so the idea here is uh, I wanted to sell to secure my profits and um, I can just re-enter anytime I want if ever man na magkaroon ng opportunity to trade this again although it's a, at a 52 week high um, it reached a 52 week high of 8.94 uh, original TP ko here was 8.40 so na-reach ko rin TP ko that's why I sold Para mas secure yung capital. So, I think nag-resist siya at that level. Itong high na to. So, let's wait for a pullback. Then, possibly re-enter. Then, if it breaks this again, then we will be watching this stock. Or we will be participating in the breakout. Okay? So, yun lang naman. Ganun ka simple sa dito trade. For MM naman, again, ito rin very tricky kasi we traded this. And... Um, we were considering na it was gonna break out of this um, areas na to. Okay? So, makikita mo, it reached at 6, 6.38 noong uh, November 25. We were considering it to break out this area. Pero parang na-fake out siya during this candle. So, actually, naka-reach siya at around 6.49 and opened at around 6.25. So, I hope you were able to sell and took, I hope you took profits. Kasi... Most likely, it can bounce again soon. 
So, baba- possible na mangyari is bababa siya dito, revisit the support, or it can can revisit the support or tuluyan siya bumaba, or it can bounce from this support, or it can consolidate rin dito. Pero again, uh, as you can see, the volume, there is a big, big uh, volume of selling as compared to the buying yesterday. So, you have to consider that as well. And then also, RSI is pointing down around pumunta siya ng 60. So, you have to be um, careful na if that happens. Pero if you have a plan, if hindi pa na-hit ang cut loss nyo, paka naman yung average nyo is in these areas, then you might as well hold. But it's really up to you. Follow your plan. And also, if you hit your cut loss, cut loss ka na. Okay? So, so far, ganun lang ka-easy yung uh, trades ko for today. I just sold my Dito and MM. And I'm still holding Ace Energy. Okay? Other stocks na win, uh, na mataas ang win and lose, uh, as is AC Energy is part of the top. So, so far, yun lang naman yung nasa watch list ko. So, makikita rin natin for ABBA. Hindi rin nag-materialize. We're sorry, medyo magulo, pero tingnan natin. So, good din na nag-cut ako dito the past few day, uh, the past few trading days kasi grabe rin yung uh, red candle niya today, 5% down siya. So, good rin na nag-transfer ako to Ace Energy. Let's check now. Ayun, uh, ito rin, isa rin to sa mga selection ko before. So, okay rin na nakita ko yung uh, medyo slow yung kanyang pag-progress. So, buti nakapagbenta ako dito. And let's also check MRC. MRC. Ito rin, we were considering na baka mag-bounce to. Bounce trade. Pero nagka-sell off rin. So, I sold at around 0.64 kanina. Kasi I was able to buy yesterday at around 0.62. Pero I sold at 0.64. Okay? So, just to show you my portfolio this morning. So, um, I was holding sa virtual to, uh, not in my real portfolio. So, I was holding MM at uh, 5.95 um average and i was able to sell it at around no kanina nung nag 6 6.30 area siya so i was able to earn 15k so mrc naman i was able to buy 0.62 i was able to sell at around 0.64 so 2% so 2000 gain and for ac energy uh 6.95 ang aking entry and then i was able to sell at 8% profit and also fa hindi masyado mataas but still a 1.69% gain at 1 1747. So in this uh, virtual trading uh, challenge I'm doing, I'm trying to practice how to manage a 1 million portfolio kasi I'm assuming na since my portfolio in my real uh, account is already around 200,000, eventually if I have a job, maging doctor na ako, then most likely hindi mag, uh, magiging possible na magiging possible na umabot ang aking portfolio into this uh, levels. Kasi I'm I'm trying to practice na medyo malaking portfolio in order to um, to actually manage my emotions na kapag nagkaroon na ako ng real portfolio ng 1M. So, kasi ibang game na yun eh. Your cut loss would be 10,000 per trade. And then, I think, I believe that you can exponentially uh, increase your capital if, you can exponentially increase your gains if your capital is big. So, I'm really practicing before I actually uh, get money pa to add to my account. So as you can see, 59,000 na yung profit so far during the day. This was this morning, pero nung nagka-sell off, uh, wala na, uh, buti na kabenta ako. So yun, ang learning lang here is to sell when you are happy and um, to sell when you are happy and when you hit your cut loss. Okay? So ano pa ba pwede natin i-check? Uh, when lose so far, Siguro, that's about it for, let's check Investagrams. Okay, sorry, medyo mabagal ang aming internet. Okay, tingnan natin kung ano mga trending stocks and ano bang balita bakit nagkaroon ng sell-off. So... Maraming nagkaroon ng ano, ano, sell-off, pati tech. Check lang natin. Ang dahil sa mga follow ko. 
So, yeah. Despite the market pullback, T-Buy din ni Ace Energy. Kasi yung T-Buy ni Dito and Wilcon eh. Gains pa talaga si Ace Energy. Okay, so... So far, tech, kahit yung tech, bumaba rin. I think kaya uh, nag-drastic pullback yung market dahil sa new strain ng coronavirus. It's possible. So, nagkaalaman ang matitibay na stocks. I pray for UK and sana makontain ang new strain ng uh, coronavirus. So, it's one of the reasons why that the, the market had a correction or a pullback. So, you should be wary. So, stay cash, majority cash, kasi hindi natin alam when this could um, end. Okay? So, I think that's about it. So, uh, good luck with all your trades. Good luck with whatever you're holding, whatever stock you're holding. I hope you learned. If you have any questions, just comment down below and just message me for more details. Thank you and God bless.